everybody and you're very welcome to the latest episode of the Cup of Culture from South Tip Arts Podcast here at the Arts Centre in Clonmel. This week I was delighted to be able to have a chat with Neve Curry and Kevin Power who are the originators of the Be Creative Clonmel project which features as part of this year's online version of the Clonmel Junction Arts Festival. Neve and Kevin have created a series of YouTube tutorials which are well worth checking out on Clonmel Junction Arts Festival's YouTube channel which you should go along and give a like, follow and maybe a subscribe to so that you're kept up to date with all the events that are taking place at this year's festival. When Eve and Kevin have worked on numerous artistic projects over the year, which they told me when I met up with them earlier on via Zoom. Did you know each other already or? I only, I only met Eve three months ago. Oh, really? No, <laughs> no I only, we're only met. Um, we've, we've been working on and off for nearly a decade now. Always doing kind of collaborative things. Yeah, oh, sure. We're always dabbling in something. Like we, we, we did Waterford Walls together there last August, which was brilliant. Great experience. And we did other projects in the past, like the small music festival in Clamel there, Belly Bang. We did artwork for that and different things like that. Electric picnic as well. Electric picnic, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't have went back to college if it wasn't for Neve. now, to be fair. She actually uh, kind of motivated me in a lot of ways. So uh, uh, I've been saying it to her for years, but she doesn't believe me. So uh, but, uh, I, I do see myself as an artist, but I don't see myself at the same level of artistry as what Neve can do. But uh, I think a bore of strings can complement each other and have in the past and We've generally had very successful projects together and I'm kind of grateful for that. And I'm glad to be working with her at this time because it's good to be working with someone that I can trust during this time, Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's lovely. And it's great to find when you work well with somebody that you chill with and you just kind of understand each other, you're on the same page. That's absolutely priceless. Anytime, especially in times like this. Yeah, we do work well together, definitely. Like, obviously... During the lockdown, it's a bit of a challenge when you're working remotely and you can't, it can be kind of awkward. It'd be much better if you could work in the same office together and just, or studio and get things done. That way it was a bit of a challenge. But other than that, it's been brilliant. It was a big transition. Like we, we generally, like we were so used to being in the same, in close proximity to get work done. But because we're not that close we have to generally use Zoom as yeah. one of our communication tools to, to get work done, to uh, plan our next move, yeah. stuff like that. It's, it has been difficult, but we've managed reasonably well. It's, um, I don't know if you're finding this, but it is starting to become, it feels a little bit more normal. Like I've started doing it with my friends and stuff and <laughs> we would have never yeah. figured that as even having a video call with somebody who's totally alien, with FaceTime's alien. Yes. And all of a sudden, yeah, I found it very strange in the in the beginning. I had never even heard of Zoom. I was like, I found it very strange. <laughs> We're, we've been using Zoom or um, Google Meetups to play board games on a on an odd weekend, yeah. and uh, we've yeah. been doing it with a bunch of friends as well. Like, so it has become handy. Yeah, so I I've been looking at your videos and they're really good, brilliant Thank idea. You. Do you mind if I ask how how did you come up with the idea in the first place? Well, we had planned on going to schools to do workshops because oh. the plan was to kind of set up pop-up galleries around Clamel and we always wanted to involve kids. So our plan was to originally go around to schools and do some workshops. But obviously when the lockdown happened, that was kind of all, everything had to change. So we decided to do the videos instead, even though we'd never done, we'd never done tutorials on video before. But it was a bit of a challenge, but it was really interesting, really good. Do you know what? They work really, really well. I don't know how many more that you've got planned between now and when the festival happens, but the topics that you've picked, they're not, um, they're not really childish topics, if you know what I mean. They're, they're quite sophisticated, some of them. Yeah, that, well, we were thinking that ourselves. Like it's a lot of age groups would enjoy them, you know. 
Well, I have one here that's mad into animation and all that stuff. So all that stuff about storyboarding and it kind of directly almost correlates to some of the stuff that they're seeing on the hub, on the TV, which is brilliant because it's like it's like extra tutorials on, on the same stuff that they're already doing. So whether that's an accident or not, it's brilliant. Well, I figured doing the filament because of the, the lockdown, it'd be best to kind of cover areas of pre and post production stuff in animation film and in uh, like even audio plays. So we kind of just figured that this would be the way forward planning. And for instance, um, you might notice that we have a storytelling one. Well, what we actually done for this, um, you mentioned college. Mm. Well, what I ended up putting together was I essentially condensed down one of the modules I had at Matching Matter. <laughs> with storytelling the yeah, narration yeah, yeah. And- well I suppose it was um and it's a mixture of uh, subjects that we're really interested our- in ourselves we would have kind of dabbled in a lot of those subjects ourselves so I mean it's all stuff we're interested in so it's kind of it was really fun to make the videos yeah and are they all made at this point are you making them still or we're nearly finished. Uh, we're ne- we're at the finishing line fairly soon. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's getting there anyway. We've about, uh, we've about five more to do now. Yeah, I was just looking at the playlist. It's a lovely little body of stuff to have, just you know, for posterity. Your portraits are amazing, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very um, much. And really, some really really good tips in there. I know you're looking for people to submit examples of their creativity. How is that going? It's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it is a a challenge. I suppose um, schools and teachers and parents are being bombarded with a lot of videos and creative projects, which is brilliant. Um, We have had a few in and it's lovely to see them following the videos and trying it out for themselves. Um, Obviously, there's like some more time and we, we might um, give people more time to get work in mm. but we have had a few in Kev will be able to tell you more like I've been looking after the admin for the schools but of course they again would be bombarded by possibly stressful parents or like a lot of emails coming in like we're hoping to get as many as possible involved, but at most we're, we're just happy to make decent videos that they can use later on, If you know. Yeah, I think so. they'll always be useful, but the chance of just seeing all the windows just full of colour and the streets, you know, even though the shops, things are different, but, you know, fill the place with colour. Yeah, exactly. That's what we were kind of hoping for. And um, like the excitement with the kids as well, being able to go have their work in an exhibition and shown to the public, I think is really nice as well. Do you know, it might be an idea to even just, like you said, we are being bombarded with things from left, right and centre for kids to do and get involved in and all this digital stuff. And they, they just are so natural with it all that, you know, submitting their stuff to the teachers even and submitting their stuff to the homeschool hub on the TV that you can kind of, you can see the take up that's on it. Like a lot of that stuff could almost be repurposed and reshared with their local community and to build a kind of a little body of, you know, pictures they drew, models they made. I wonder, is it a kind of, is it a way to call out to people to say, look, you don't have to even make something new. It's just, this is, we want to see your work. Yeah, exactly. That would be really interesting because, so many people have taken up um, little art projects, adults and kids, and um, it's great to see it. Like they may may not have had the time before to even watch a video or take up a paintbrush or pencil. And it's lovely to see so many people getting into it. It's great to be uh, creative as well, uh, especially during this time. I mean, I, I was reminded earlier on during the lockdown that William Shakespeare wrote, I believe, either Macbeth or King Lear during the pandemic, where if there was a lockdown then. Yeah. So this is possibly the best time for someone to be as creative as possible. And let's face it, kids are the most creative at that age. I suppose us artists as well, we we like to have a childlike mind, but it all comes from our childhood. Mm. So that's where it starts. Yeah. We never grew up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say... To me, Be Creative Carmel is a project that we hope not just influences kids, but influences all age groups. To get back into 
stuff that they dreamt of doing, like filmmaking, art, stuff they put on the long finger. Because at this time, we need to to go back to our inner child to get through it. And uh, we will together. And it's very, it's very good just to be inspired, creative, and just... Do do something different to get you get you by today. Yeah, people so. are so caught up in their work lives, and uh, like what I found was I was always in the car rushing around somewhere, mm. and it was actually nice to be able to spend a bit of time at home. Like I was constantly in the car, and that was nice. And it's just like hopefully it will inspire people to, like Kevin said. If you always thought you wanted to try something new out, like portrait drawing or painting or whatever, um, now's the time. We all say all the time we don't have time, but it's not a case of yeah. often not having time. It's a case of not making the time for something you want to do for yourself, which is very important. Exactly. Yeah. And you're never too old to try something new. Like I, I think people get to an age that. Uh, a stage in their lives where they're like oh I'm too old to 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 start that now or I'm too old to learn the drums or or the guitar or whatever that's just the saddest um, thing you could hear anyone say isn't it I know I know and it's and you see a lot of people that would love to be able to do these things mm-hmm. and sure why not try it out like well lads it's been absolutely lovely to have a chat with you I didn't touch my cup of, but it's beside me and I was going to have <laughs> Best of luck. Um, if people want to have a look back on those videos or even just maybe subscribe to the Junction channel, that's on YouTube, isn't it? It, it is yeah. indeed. Yeah. Junction Arts yeah. Festival. And you can subscribe, like. Yeah, and also, as, as we said, the submissions are still open, so don't hesitate to send in your work. And if you don't, don't worry if you think the work isn't good. It's not about how good it is. It's about the effort. And we only appreciate your effort and be motivated to, to work hard and practice. Yeah. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's, it's, it's good for, for you to just practice, practice. And then when you feel the time is right, send in the work. Or at least have it for yourself to remember that I put a bit of effort in. They can send their works to um, projects at junctionfestival.com. Uh, if they take a photograph of it, a nice clear photo if they can. It's just the emails we're taking at the moment, but yeah. um, you know, if they're chosen, then we, we'll find a way of getting the, the art. In. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know. You can email and submit work through projects at junctionfestival.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me whenever you need uh, any question answered. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We got a nice one there, Neve, didn't we? It was uh, from yeah. a little child. He he actually put uh, like a tagline on, and I'll just read it now very quickly. Hi, I would like to enter a leaf print piece by my son, Kevin, who is nine years old in third class, St. Pierre and Paul's school which I actually funny enough am Kevin but I also went to St. Pierre and Paul's when I was a child as well. He joined two leaves together to portray a sun and used other leaves to portray trees labeling it with his own quote the sun helps us grow even when we're feeling low regards Veronica I and I think that quote says a lot about our times at the moment and sometimes we should remember that we all have our low days, but to try and see the light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. So I think that's well, lads, very you're, nice. You're doing a lot of work towards making that happen. So um, thanks a million for chatting to me. I've kept you long enough now. I'm going to let you get back to work. And um, and, and thanks very much for having me. Yeah, and thanks. Thanks very oh, much for highlighting. And I really look forward to seeing the exhibition when it goes out. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you. And Neve and Kevin would like to extend their thanks to Clonmel Junction Arts Festival and to Creative Ireland for their support in the production of this project. Mm-hmm.